Okay, so if you look at these totes here, this is two IBC totes double stacked. We'll go through the way to double stack those in a minute, but the reason why we double stack those is one, because our gutter's so high here off the back of our shop, and secondly, the amount of pressure you get out of from them double stacked is amazing, which allows you to push water a longer distance. So these totes here are hooked up to the gutter, and if you look down here, there's a hose that runs down. That hose actually runs over right now to our turkeys. This tote here is also being filled from that double stack tote. And we've got a simple connection on it and it's running down right now to our free range chickens. So let me go through the importance of how to set up one of these double stack totes because, you know, it can be tricky and it can be dangerous. But it starts with, you know, you gotta have a good, good area for a gutter. If you're gonna go ahead and put put a double stack, I would have it over at least a you know, 15, 20 foot section. This is actually a 30 foot section of gutter. We feel comfortable that, uh, you know, that it'll fill up quickly, which is good and bad. So when it fills up quickly based on a downpour, the lower tote will only fill up, I'm sorry, will not fill up completely. It will fill up about half to three quarters full based on the amount of bubbling that can only escape out unless you put in a way for it to breathe so what we did was if you look back inside there we've actually hooked up a small I think a 3 8 inch line and it comes out we epoxied that in with I think like a JB weld or some kind of a silicone seal sealant and we just got that going up so that allows us to vent the important part is you got to make sure your vent pipe goes above the top of your other tote. Then that'll allow both these totes to fill up. Off of this 30 foot section of gutter, it takes a half inch of rain to fill up 550 gallons. And like I said, shared with you earlier, the height of this then allows us to transfer water to other locations. So I already showed you the one of the totes. Also down here, it transfers water down here. And then because of the sheer volume of, of this, we believe that we can actually run a one and a half inch line all the way through down to our orchard um, and also to where our vineyards going to be down there. Well, they actually are there. And let me just share one last thing how we set this up so that way you can plumb yours together uh, for a double stack tote. So what we use here is a two by one and a half inch rubber boot. Just came down with an elbow. Normally, I mean, you could do it this way. We got another rubber boot comes out. You could actually put that into a T connection if you wanted, but we wanted to have multiple areas to come out. So we came in with a cross. This then here, just it's a normal garden hose so we can hook up to fill up our other totes. This is one that we have extra set up for uh, additional uh, waters. This one here is actually set up for the water that's right here. So when we have some free range chickens, they'll come out and drink in this time or in this area and then the one in the back you can see we just got a normal spigot hook up to it and it's actually set up for the turkeys right now so giving yourselves multiple options for moving water by multiple outlets is important and I guess the only thing I'd like to say is on this one here I did not have a gutter guard system put in place so what we put on there is just a quarter by quarter hardware cloth over the top of that to strain it for coming in. And then on our inlets to our chicken waters, we take an aluminum screen, no different than the aluminum screen that you would use for your house. And we actually use that to basically make a small screen in the hose. So hopefully that gives you an idea on how to catch water. On our homestead, we actually have the capability right now to collect and hold 10,000 gallons of rainwater. And what we've done is, majority of it is done through these totes and uh, through setting up gutters on all of our outbuildings. And then that allows us to transfer. If you don't have any slope on your property, you know, as far as the difference in grade, I would recommend double stacking totes and that still allows you then to push water and fill up other totes without having to use pumps or anything like that. Because as soon as you start using pumps, one, it's, I think it takes away from what you're trying to do. And two, 
it's uh, it's just another maintenance activity that you have to take care of. So hopefully that answers your questions as far as those of you that sent in asking us to talk about our rain collection system. Hope you enjoy this video. If you get any other questions on it, please feel or feel free to uh, put it in the comments down below, and I'll make sure I answer them. And uh, you know, if you got any other ideas for videos you want to see based on what we're uh, doing or think we're doing, uh, we'll definitely shoot them for you. But again, we've got quite a few things going on here on our homestead. We try to just take snippets of uh, what we think you guys will be interested in. So if you got other uh, ideas that you want to see, we may be doing it here on our homestead. But uh, I'll be honest with you, video is not our full-time job. Taking care of our homestead is because it's important for our uh, the health of our family. So hope you enjoy this. Please subscribe and share with others. Shalom.